Hi guys, it's Charlie. I hope you're all well. So I thought I'd do a little vloggy video today um, just to talk about a few things that um, are going to be coming up on my channel that I'm thinking about doing. So the first one is, obviously I've stopped doing my Friday Fight Night videos now because that was just meant to be throughout October, like Halloween month. So I thought instead of doing them now, I could do a new thing which is called Friday Nights with Charlie and it's basically vloggy videos where you spend the Friday nights with me wherever I go whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm eating, whatever I'm watching, you guys do it with me. So let me know what you think about that idea. Um, leave your comments down below. If you think it's a bad idea, say I think it's a bad idea. I won't be offended. Um, but just, yeah, just leave me your opinions. I just thought it would be something cool to do. Um, the second thing is I'm going to be doing a lot more um, everyday vlogs as well, or I'm hoping to. Um... So kind of just following me around in my day-to-day -day life and, you know, meeting my family and, you know, my friends and, yeah, just doing little random vlogs like that. Um, and I've got my sister's wedding coming up, so we're going to be going to lots of wedding fairs and I can take you with me there. My little nephew's first birthday is coming up, so um, I can take you along with me there and just just you guys so that you can get to know me a little bit better than you already do um so again let me know what you think of that idea leave your comments down below again as i said if you think it's a bad idea then say it's a bad idea i really won't be offended um and yeah so that's the little couple of things that i wanted to ask you guys about um the other thing i want to talk about is that somebody mentioned my tattoos a little while ago um i've only got two one on each wrist at the moment i want to get more but um I thought I'd just show you them quickly so that you guys know what they are. Um, they're really hard to show because they're on my wrist. So if they're back to front and stuff, then I do apologise. But I'll move you for a minute so you can kind of see above them. So this one says strength. And I got that one when, just after I was coming out, the worst part of my illness. And everybody kept saying to me, um, you need the tiniest bit of strength. And you can get through even the worst of days. And that just really struck home with me. And so I got it tattooed on here so that when I'm having a bad day, I can look down at my wrist and think, that's all I need. All I need is a bit of strength and I'll be okay. So that's why I got that one. And it didn't really hurt at all, to be honest. Um, only when, only the G hurt because it goes down a bit nearer my veins. So that bit kind of did her a little bit. Um, and then the other one that I got, and this was the first one that I got, and it is, I hope you can see that, it is a bow. If I just move my arm up and down. Um, it is a bow. I really hope you can see that. It's so difficult to show them because they're on my wrist. And I just got this for no other reason than I have a real fixation with bows. I love bows. And, um, yes. So that's why I got, <laughs> that's why I got that one. This one did hurt a little bit more because it goes further down towards my veins so it did hurt a little bit more not too bad though um but yeah that's my only two that i've got i do want to get some more um which hopefully i'll be getting soon um yeah so that's my tattoos um piercing wise not that any of you guys have asked about piercings but i did have my eyebrow pierced which i've now obviously taken out because i just i kind of grew out of it um I have my um, tragus pierced, which I love. It's my favourite piercing. I sometimes forget it's there. I've had it done for such a long time. Back when I was in school, I got this done. And I just, I love it. I love it so much. I think it looks so nice. And I have also got my um, cartilage pierced up here. And I've got two holes in each ear down here. So, Yeah. Um, I do, I like tattoos more than I like, uh, piercings, I have to say, and I don't like anything on, like, face or, like, big things on your neck, anything I don't really like, but, um, yeah, so that's my tattoos and piercings, for those of you that did ask. Um, yeah, so today I am, just at the moment, I am watching, now I'm going to show you, I'm going to try and turn you around and show you what I'm watching I do apologise for my crap camera work because I, when I usually film for you, obviously I'm just sitting in front of it, I'm not really moving it or anything, but trying to move it and focus it on things, 
I'm useless, so I do apologise, but hopefully you'll be able to see this. Um, so I'm watching uh, Paranormal Activity 2 at the moment, so I hope you can see that. Yeah, I'm just watching Paranormal Activity 2. Um, and then, if I just show you, I'm going to be watching um, The Ring. This is The Ring 1 and The Ring 2. This is what I'm going to be watching tonight. I was going to go out tonight, but... Um, I'm still not feeling 100% and I don't want to go out like when I'm starting to feel better and then just start feeling worse again because it's, it's horrible weather out there. I'll show you what the weather's like outside. Um, we just come out here, I'll show you what the weather's like. It's really not, I mean, it, it's got better <laughs> as the day's gone on. But um, yeah, this is how like crappy and horrible. You can see that it's starting to get dark already and it's only like four o'clock. Um... So, yeah, it's like, it's really horrible weather. Um, I got some books through the post today, which I guess I should show you because this is a booktubing channel. Um, I got The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I know you're thinking, Charlotte, you've already got a copy of this, but I wanted a paperback copy because the hardback copy is really big and clumpy, like it's bigger than an average paperback. And I wanted one that I could just chuck in my bag, like when I'm going out and stuff. So I picked up, that was only like £3 from Amazon. So, um... Yep, I'll show these in a proper book haul anyway, but I might as well just show you them now as well. But I've got a bigger book haul coming up, so I'm just waiting for the last few books to turn up. But yeah, I might as well show you these. Then I got Tilt by Ellen Hopkins, um, and she writes in verse. I love her books, and they're always about like really real issues like um, depression and sexuality and drugs and prostitution and like really real subjects so i'm looking forward to reading this this is her most recent one it's a really nice cover as well it's like hologrammy and then i got bad glass by richard e Gropp, which is such an amazing cover i don't know if you can see that girl's face it's so creepy and then this is like eye like rolled back on the back look such an amazing cover um and again i'll explain more about these in my in a hall or something when I do my next haul. Um, but this is to do with this town where these strange things are happening um, and like these photos are going up on the internet of things that shouldn't really be, um, like, shouldn't really be humanly possible, basically, that are happening in this town. And this photographer goes to investigate when this town shut down, he shouldn't really be there. And yeah, strange things happen. So it sounds like right up my street. Um, this is my kitchen. Um, <laughs> just in case you wanted to know what it looked like. Yes, they are. These are all my <laughs> um, treats. I'm so bad. I have a real um, sweet tooth. I'm so bad. Um, yeah, I might actually do a house tour soon anyway. But I thought I might as well show you that while I'm uh, walking through it. Um, I think that is pretty much it. As I say, I will be filming a haul anyway soon, so I'll explain a bit more about what those books are about and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I am just, as I said, watching Paranormal Activity 2. Um, no, th 3, even. I do take that back, Paranormal Activity 3 I'm watching. Um... And I'm just reading my um, The Monster Monologist by Rick Yancey, which I showed you in my uh, video yesterday, and I'm loving it. It has well and truly got me out of my reading slump. If you have not read this book and you don't own it, go and pick up a copy. It is amazing. I, I didn't want to put it down last night when I went to bed. I just wanted to keep reading. Um, it is very gory, though, so if you don't like very gory stuff or you haven't got a strong stomach, I probably wouldn't recommend this book, but... If you can, if you've got a strong stomach, then definitely, definitely pick up a copy of it. Um, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this little vloggy video, even though the camera work has been shoddy. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you in my next haul. Don't forget to leave your thoughts about my Friday Nights with Charlie series of videos and also more videos like this um 
yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're all well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.